予算オーバーで親父に別のにしろって言われてでも結局買ってくれてさ足りない分の金兄貴がバイトで稼いでくれてたんだよね知ったのずいぶん後だった Here's the outfit. Getting ready to go out to go grocery shopping. But, um, yeah. Wearing this nice pea coat. I got a, a wool sweater underneath this right here that you can see.、Um, it's purple. I decided to go with、uh, navy blue today. But, um,. Yeah, I got the scarf on. I think I'd say this is a pretty good look. And I'm really popping out the,、uh, the shoes here. Really going to. <laughs> got the yellow. We're going to try and complement the navy blue with the yellow. I'm not, I'm not too sure how it's going, but,、uh, but yeah. Let me know if that's yellow is destroying the outfit. All right, let's go. The route that I was going before was、uh, the sidewalk ended up being closed, and the guy told me that I could probably still go, but、uh, it'd be a little bit dangerous, so you already know I hella noped out of that. I'm going the other way this time. Now, the reason why I'm going grocery shopping actually is because I got this sudden motivation to make some food. Uh, from the drama I'm watching. It's a Japanese drama called Ski no Hito ga iru koto. That's what it's called, but it translates pretty much to a girl and three sweethearts. And one of the three sweethearts is a chef, and he makes this really good looking dish where it's just you got some rice. Um, an omelet on top of it, and then this demi glace sauce, which is like this brown beefy sauce. It just looked delicious, to be honest with you, so I'm gonna go out and try and make it. Hopefully, it turns out somewhat good. But yeah. Well, mission accomplished. I ended up getting the groceries I need. The foods I'm gonna make tonight.、Um, however, I feel slightly defeated. This is probably because、um, I was looking for Pango for around like 15 minutes. Didn't realize I walked past it like three times. Maybe, maybe I'll get hit by a car. Not today. Anyways, I probably did like two laps around the、uh, store.、Um, The first dilemma was that、uh, the first dilemma ended up being that I couldn't find scallions, and there had been one question that I had been pondering about for quite some time now, and it was what would be the difference between green onions and scallions? And I Google searched it, and I figured out they're actually not different at all. So, there's that. I ended up buying green onions, not scallions. And yeah, about the,、uh, the two laps around the store,、um, I was really determined to find this panko by myself. Because I had many opportunities to ask people where it was. 
and eventually I did, but uh, before I asked, I made sure to clearly look for myself and see if I could find it. Um, I really couldn't. I guess I'm just blind. So here's the first dish I want to show you guys that I made yesterday. It's, um, it's called Spanish flan. It, uh, it's kind of like a, it's pretty much a pudding. Um, if we cut through the middle, you can see what it looks like. Looks like that. And the ingredients it's really not many. It's evaporated milk, condensed milk, four eggs, and a vanilla extract. And you just kind of mix it together. I used a blender. And then you, uh, you have to make this caramel part, which is the hardest part, to be honest. So you have to melt down sugar. Um, and you have to make sure it doesn't harden up. or you, Because if you overcook it, that shit will harden up. Um, so you kind of want to get the golden brown color. And then you just want to pour the mixture in after you've poured the caramel glaze into some sort of container. But uh, yeah, we're going to try it out. Let's see how it goes. I also have a nice cold glass of milk to go with the, the dessert. So we're going to try this out now. Here we go. Mmm. That's good. If I had to describe what it tastes like, it's very, it's very fluffy. It's almost like, um, it's like you're biting into a cloud or something that tastes like sugar and milk um, and caramel. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. always makes desserts taste better. Mmm. Alright, well. I'm gonna go back to watching this drama. I'll see you guys later when I get hungry for lunch. Alright, guys. So, here is the dish I was talking about earlier. It's the, uh, pretty much what it is, is it's an omelet on top of rice. And then right here in the middle, there is a piece of, uh, it's almost like a hamburger patty that I made. And, uh, the sauce is called demi-glace sauce. It's just like a brown steaky sauce, but we're gonna go in for our bite, alright? So, kind of want to get some of the steak in there. There we go. Right, we got a bite. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. A scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a, uh, 3. 